Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and fill you up with hope. Now, I just did a channel with Prince to get some insight into the new year, and I thought we'd get some kind of positive, inspirational, uplifting, um, or at least maybe some sassy or kind of humorous, you know how Prince can be in the afterlife, um, information. But my husband and I, my husband's my cameraman, we were kind of chatting after I just finished the channel and both of us were kind of like, what was that? And so I wanted to do a follow-up to talk about it and uh, see if I can get Prince to kind of come in and actually ask him kind of what the energy is about. Okay, so he's standing here like this, like in a white suit with his arms crossed, like looking at me like he's directing, you know, and the... He says, if you didn't want my advice, why did you ask for it? <laughs> is what he said, totally Prince fashion, right? Um, for those of you who don't know, I've worked with Prince in the afterlife for a couple of years since he, um, right after his death, um, I started connecting with him. And if you want to find that backstory, go look at the purplemedium.com website. There's a whole blog there that is uh, a whole catalog of the conversations he and I had um, early on. And... So our relationship is very, he's very much a spirit guide for me and um, it feels almost like brother sisterly kind of, uh, gives me a bad time and it's totally fine with that. That's like a Minnesota thing too, Minnesota humor, you know. Um, so if he comes across kind of bossy, that's just the way he is and that's okay with me because that's how we work together. So, um, and he tells me to, so the, here's the feeling I get from him. He's not, now he, he, when I direct channel him, like just one on one in a conversation, he oftentimes will speak in short sentences or small phrases. Um, but then I feel a lot from him, like I'll get a whole bunch of information at once and then it opens up and I can just, you know, know what he's sharing, his messages. But it feels like, well, this is the truth. Like the message was about, um, the message was about, uh, I didn't watch it back. I just am trying to recall it, which is hard to do. Um, it was kind of about taking accountability for the way that we feel like stop complaining. Um, if you want to change things, you got to do it yourself. And the way that you feel is because of the choices you're making and the decisions you're making, whatever, that that's how you're going to make change. And I'm like, what? Okay. Yeah. Well, I get that. I understand that. That makes sense. That's rational, but it's not what I'd be used to from Prince. And so I want to know why, like why that is. And he's like, well, you can't, um, it's not about other people's expectations is the message that's coming through for him. It's not about other people's expectations. What other people expect of you is not your business. That's not what you deliver. That's not how you roll through your life. Um, his message is you got to be, you got to show up and be real. You got to be real because if you're not real in the moment, there's no credibility. There's no authenticity. There's no, it's not real and people deserve real. And so um, right after, right after the channeling was done, um, he said, I could hear him. He said, uh, warm, fuzzy. He's like, it doesn't always have to be warm and fuzzy. He's like, because that's not what life is like. That's not realistic. You know, that might be what the afterlife is like, but that's not what human life is. Human beings are dealing with some hard stuff, you know? And so he just came right in and said, cut, basically cut the BS and... If you want something different for your life, then you need to make change in your life. I mean, that's the deal. If you're feeling bad and you're complaining and worrying about stuff, that's on you. That's from you. Nobody else is making you feel any certain way. That's your choice. Nobody else is making you think a certain way. That's your choice kind of a thing. And so almost like an in your face, a little bit in your face kind of a thing. But he says... Um, you need to face reality. He says, you need to see, he says, um, one of the things that um, can get lost in spiritual context and spiritual communication, contrast, he says, the, con the spirit, in spirit contrast, he says, in spirit contrast is the way you used to be and the way you are now. And in his case, it's being a person versus being a spirit. And 
everything isn't, you don't look back upon your life, is how he's making me feel. You don't look back upon your life and think, oh, everything was so great, everything was so wonderful. Um, you recognize the real, like the realness that the human life presents, that it's raw and it's real. And so that's, those are the characteristics he brought in in this particular message. And not what you would expect, which is the point of life. Life is much more spontaneous and it is uncertain. And that uncertainty is not something that we are comfortable with as people. We're just not. And so this is sort of um, the platform that he is sharing off of today. He says, well, do you want me to be real? Or do you want me to, you know, just... I'm not going to say that because I don't know if that will pass the YouTube test. He's like, blow smoke. <laughs> and then completed the sentence. Do you want me to blow smoke? Or do you want me to be real? I'm like, I want you to be real because people need to be able to relate to you. That's what I value so much about our connection, about when we share and when you teach me and talk to me about stuff. It's not just, oh, isn't it lovely? And oh, the angels are singing and we're skipping through the fields and the heavens are just glowing light. And, and yes, that stuff is awesome, but that's not reality. He's like, that's not reality for most people. Most people are dealing with a lot of stuff. And because of that, that's why he showed up that way. So he wants me to also convey that he's not crabby because I apparently I said he was crabby. I think I might have told my husband, <laughs> gosh, he seemed like he was crabby or something. And that's kind of weird. And uh, um, he says, no, I'm not crabby. That's not, <laughs> that's, that doesn't even happen here. He says <laughs> in this state as like a spirit, he says, but um, I wanted to make sure I reflected accurately how people are feeling right now and to reach some people. And he's like, you're not gonna be for everybody. Your audience isn't gonna be for everybody. Whoever needs to hear the message will hear the message. And he's like, you just gotta trust that, just let it be. Because I was talking to my husband after, and I thought, wow, that didn't seem very positive. I don't know if I wanna share that. You know, that's not like a rah, rah, yay, yay. That's not like a Bridget likes to do. Come on, you guys, let's get inspired. But there is a balancing, isn't there? There is a balancing. There's always a challenge. If we want to be an inspired spirit and we want to feel hopeful, in order to feel that, we have to know what the contrast is like. And that's kind of what Prince in his presentation, his message and his words, I'm sure were, were um, effective and probably good. I have to, again, because in a transformative state and in a channeling state, I, it's hard to recall stuff. It's hard to go back into my brain and pull stuff out and then come back into spirit space. It doesn't really work for me to collaborate or um, um, to be in two places at once. For me, it kind of feels like that. I'd rather, I'd rather really be focused on the spirit channel part of it. And so it's hard to do that. But So I'm interested to look back on that particular channeling and to see really the depth of the message that was presented. So, all right. Thank you. I appreciate you sticking around to talk about that. He's like, I'm sure we're going to talk more. And now it looks like he's got, okay, so he has this like white suit. It looks satiny, like I want to touch it. And it's got scrolls on it, kind of like scrolls on it. It kind of reminds me of the suit, kind of, not exactly like the suit that he, I think he wore in um, Under the Cherry Moon. There's one point where he had like this kind of like white or ivory suit on. It almost looked like a tapestry kind of thing. But it kind of looks like that, but it's a little, the coat is longer and it's got like gold spirals in it. I, I know some of you who are Prince fans will totally appreciate the wardrobe because, you know, he looks, the man looks well in the afterlife. The style is a part of the energy essence, you know. So I want to make sure I bring that forward, right? He's like, mm-hmm. He just nods his head like, mm-hmm. He's like this, he's like, mm-hmm. All right, now that's my friend that I know. Thank you. All right, this is Bridget at Above Life Channel. You've been watching a follow-up conversation after a afterlife channel that I did with Prince. I hope that you found it interesting and insightful. Remember at Above Life Channel, the point is to inspire your spirit, fill you up with hope because this is your life. So whatever you do with this content, the messages, the information, it's yours. So live it. Live it. Thanks for watching.